Google just applied for a license to work with Huawei again. Yep, they want back in. If they do get the license, what will Huawei do? Put their plans on hold to make up with the tech titan? Oh, hey, I'm not Welcome back to Need to Know. Are you ready to see what Huawei and Apple have in store for you this month? Both companies are gonna try to shine at the end of March. Huawei will show off the P40 phones and Apple its latest iPhone SE model. The P series have always been about camera innovations and pros chose them for taking the lead in that area. But with Google services out of the picture, many are wondering if Huawei's phones are still worth it. Should you sacrifice software and apps, the essence of a smartphone, for a better camera? Camera? Will this trade work? The answer is too scary for Huawei to consider. So the company has been working on their own app store for the past year. The app gallery, part of Huawei mobile services, is their reply to Play Store. But competing with millions of apps from a reliable, strong app store that is on billions of devices today seems a fool's errand. Then again, if there is anyone that can face off with Google besides Apple, it's probably Huawei. Huawei has invested $15 billion in R&D last year and watched their sales go up 18%. They've managed to gather 45,000 apps in an app store that was almost built overnight, at least when you compare it to Android's history. After the trade ban, Huawei picked itself up and dusted itself off, determined to prove everyone they're not gonna crumble. They may have been dumped, but they're not licking their wounds, waiting for US regulators to change their mind or for Google to fight for them. 3,000 engineers are working with developers for for Huawei mobile services, they've replaced Google News with Squid, Google Assistant with Huawei Assistant. They made a deal with TomTom to help them out replace Maps in the next phones. So P40 will offer those navigation services. It's going to be an uphill climb, but Huawei appears committed to this ecosystem of theirs. They're already proud of having 400 million active users abroad. Are they putting a brave face or is there real confidence and the sound strategy behind these investments? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. There is something that makes me think Huawei is playing the long game here. Besides dumping money in their own ecosystem, the company is busy winning allies. They've convinced Xiaomi, Oppo and Vivo to form the GDSA, which is Global Developer Service Alliance. What's the idea behind it? A platform where devs outside China can upload their apps onto all of these smartphone makers' app stores in the same time. GDSA was supposed to launch this month, actually, but there's been no talk of a specific date. No need to remind you that China's economic and social initiatives are now on hold due to the coronavirus. When that happens, though, Huawei may have the support it needs to grow their store faster despite the US ban. You know what the irony is? Well, Google just applied for a license to work with Huawei again. Yep, they want back in. If they do get the license, what will Huawei do? Put their plans on hold and try to make up with the tech titan and lose all the money they've poured in the app gallery? And if they go ahead with their plans, is Huawei really ready to lose the US market? Until the US regulators give Google the green light, Huawei will definitely not stand still. You see this? I quit. <laughs> I open my own hotel. They're gonna keep matching Google's apps one by one, including Search. Yes, the most popular Google service, Search, will have a Huawei counterpart. Huawei Search is in beta testing now, and if all goes well, it will be another sign Huawei is not kidding. Right now, the beta app shows results, videos and images, travel and weather reports. It also converts units, shows the calendar, and very important, it curates news. Although, how they're going about that, nobody knows exactly. The date Data is controlled by a Huawei subsidiary in Ireland and Huawei Search will comply with GDPR policies. Huawei Search is going to come pre-installed in Honor and Huawei phones like the P40 series. This end of month, the phones will show up in Paris. They're set to run on Kirin 990 and offer 5G. The standard version will have a triple camera and a TOF sensor, but no headphone jack, while the Pro version will have a better camera setup with a 52 megapixel sensor and 10 times optical zoom. That's going to be quite the achievement if it's confirmed. Even so, will users turn a blind eye to the lack of Google services? Will the phone prove to be a success as users will give Huawei's app store a chance? What do you think? Tell us in the comments and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. See you guys!